This is the video that most of you have asked for, a direct comparison between Backfrap and Firebase. Hi, I'm Alex, the architect from Backfrap, and this is Talking to the Architect. And so many of you have asked for this video that we decided to write a full blog post comparing every single aspect of both companies. There is a link in the description of this video that you can follow and read through the article. But in this video, I want to focus on the differences between both platforms. And the first one is the approach that each company takes on its own source code. Back for App opts out for a fully open source stack. So if you need to download audit or run the code yourself, you can do that with Backfrap. Firebase, on the other hand, opted out for a fully closed source. So there is this big black box where everything happens behind the scenes. You cannot audit their code and cannot run it yourself. There is no particularly better solution in this case, but you have to choose the uh, approach that best, best fits your needs. The second one, is that Backfrap has enterprise uh, plans and uh, uh, dedicated hosting, while Firebase has one product as is, so one product fit its, fits it all. So if you need to uh, create dedicated hosts uh, inside Backfrap, uh, you cannot do that in Firebase. Also, we can 100% customize the servers to match your needs. So if you need any specific firewall rules, specific software installed on your servers, or if you need to run uh, and collect data in the servers themselves, here in Backfrap we allow you to do so, while in Firebase you cannot do that. Third, we are able to reach people in China. Backfrap has servers in China, so we can deliver content in there, while Firebase cannot. Last but not least, both companies offer 24 by 7 support through tickets and emails and Slack channel, but here in Backfrap we also offer for our premium plans a 24 by 7 technical telephone support. So if telephone support is relevant to you and to your business, and if you need 24 by 7 here in Backfrap, you can do that in our premium plans. In Firebase you are limited to the other channels I just told you. So I hope this content was useful to you. Please check the uh, blog post because there is really good and relevant information in there that will help you decide on which platform you should focus. And if you like this video, please click the like button and consider subscribing to the channel so you can help us grow. Also share this link with a friend and they can learn something too. If you already subscribed, thank you for that. And if you have any questions, suggestions, or any implementation you would like to see, please leave it on the comment section down below. We always answer all the questions. So I hope this was relevant to you and hope to see you back. See you soon. Bye-bye.